Hello, welcome to Music Appreciation. I'm so excited to get this course started, but I wanted to give you a little information about who I am, um, my likes, dislikes, all that stuff, so that um, I feel more like a real person, because I am, in fact, a real person. So, a little bit about me, you might want to know. I grew up in Pennsylvania. My favorite things include racquetball when I um, played intramurals in college. My favorite food is mashed potatoes. I could eat those every day and be a happy camper. And my puppy Kiwi, and you'll see lots of pictures of her later and in subsequent videos. Um, for my schooling, I went to Cedarville and then Wright State and then finally the University of South Carolina for my doctorate. But um, what's most important, I think, is not the places that I went to school, but um, my experience and how long I've been teaching this course. So I started teaching in 2013, which is quite a few years ago, dating myself. Um, in addition to teaching online classes and in-person music classes, I'm also an instructional designer. So I spend a lot of time designing courses and making sure that they are accessible and are exciting and all those awesome things. So please keep that in mind. I designed this course. I take ownership of every aspect of it. I created the videos, I created the assignments, all of that. And I take pride in the insane amount of hours <laughs> that I spent on this course. And I keep revamping it each semester to make it better and better based on your feedback and how things went and all that stuff. So please keep that in mind. Um, a little bit about me. I have some pictures to show you. So this is my family up at the top left here. Um, here's some pictures of me playing the flute. And uh, this is from finishing up my doctorate. Um, I also am a big Philadelphia Eagles fan. I try and go to as many games as possible. So here's some pictures from that. And, as I mentioned, my puppy, Kiwi. Now, she will make an appearance in some videos throughout this course. Uh, she is adorable. She is um, almost six pounds, and she's a toy poodle, and she's the best thing ever, 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 ever. Um, so those are some short things about me. What you will notice throughout this course is that I create videos for you. So instead of purchasing a textbook, we have an online textbook that you can read. Um, I will prompt you to that through various points in the course, but I create videos to give you all of that information that you need to know for quizzes and assignments and things like that. Um, those videos I've created at various points in my house, my parents' house, just all over the place. <laughs> um, so you may see the backgrounds change as we go through. Uh, but my primary goals for this course are for you to listen to music and listen to music perhaps in a different way than you have previously. I also want you to be creative. This is an opportunity for you to kind of push the envelope, if you will, and uh, try new things that you might not be used to doing and think outside the box. So think. There's going to be assignments that ask you your opinion and ask you to think and reason through ideas. My goal through this course is not for you to identify vocabulary words and that's it. I want you to actually apply this to your everyday life and reason through things. Those are my primary goals. Keep that in mind as you go through this course. Um, lastly, I'm going to give you a little timeline of how this course works. So I teach this course backwards. We start with introductory material, then we go to music since 1900, which is the time period we're living in now. Then we go backwards to the Romantic period. Then we have a whole module in the midterm. Then we have a problem with universal section. And then the second half of the course, we go through the Classical period, Baroque period, Medieval Renaissance, and then wrapping it up and final things. Things to note, though, that this course is offered in different accelerated versions as well. So if you're taking the delayed start version, this will only take 14 weeks instead of 16. And the late start means this course is condensed into eight weeks. We're covering the same amount of material just in eight weeks. I am so excited to get started. I love teaching this course. It's one of my favorites. So let's get started.